man who says he can and the man who says he can't are both usually right. So guys, just take a minute and think about that. The man who says he can and the man who says he can't are both usually right. Mindset is everything, guys, when you're in this business or even in life. If you come in with a negative mindset, you're not gonna do good. Uh, in this video, we're gonna discuss setting goals for your lawn care business in 2022. All right, guys, I'm a firm believer that every business should have goals. Not only should your business have goals, but your life should have goals also. So it will give you some type of direction. Um, it will give you some type of purpose. You can't get to point B if you don't have point A completely figured out. Um, so guys, you need to make sure that you put something on paper. Um, you have to decide where you want your business to go. Um, and when I say that, I mean, you have to take the time and just kind of think long term. Okay. Um, in the next five years or the next three years, this is where I want my business to be, or this is where I want to be in my life. And you have to take the blueprints and you need to draw out a map on when them three to five years get here, how the fuck am I going to accomplish that? Uh, it needs to be in writing, guys. Um, and a good way to do that is when, when you're sitting down and you're going through and you're figuring out your goals, start small, guys. When you have that, that one big goal, you need to knock that big goal down into maybe three small goals, if, if that makes sense. You know, uh, you have to crawl before you can walk. So it's very important to set yourself up, you know, be very detailed uh, with your goals. You know, guys, don't don't play around with this because uh, the longer you put it off or the longer you keep the ideals here up in your head, they're only ideas. So you really need to put it on papers. And when you put it on paper, um, it, it shows relevance to, to, to you that, okay, maybe I actually can do this shit. Maybe it, it actually is possible. Um, when you have something on paper, it's a, it's a lot easier when you have those blueprints. So you really need to decide, okay, where you need to think to yourself, where my business is today and where I want my business to be in the future. So when them three to five years come down the road, have I done the necessary uh, steps to, to set me up for that end goal um, when I get there at that five year mark, at that three to five year mark. But if you're not doing what you need to today, when that time come, it, it won't be there. Uh, it'll be a thought in your head just like it was before. So guys, uh, please put something on paper. Um, you gotta have goals because goals give you uh, some type of direction. It, it, it gives you uh, something to, to shoot for, you know? Um, when you have goals implemented, it, it really helps you grow your business. And you can really see where you were and, and where you are today if, if, if you set goals. All right, guys, without risk, there's no reward. Uh, you have to be willing to take that first step just to kind of see what happens. I know too many guys um, who are afraid to get involved in business just because they're afraid to take that initial step. I got my neighbor here. I told him I was busy, but there he is right in the cut. Never fails. All right. So guys, you need to make sure that, that you're not afraid to uh, take that initial step to get your business off the ground. Even if it's not in business, even if it's in life, guys, uh, just don't be afraid to uh, take that step because it's so much out there. It's so much out there to, to, to be offered. And well, the way my mindset is, I'd rather fail at it and me knowing, okay, yeah, this shit is not for me versus me not trying at all and not even knowing, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I need to know if uh, this is for me or if this needs to work or if I need to try something else. And the only way is getting your feet wet. Uh, you have to put boots on the ground, guys. You have to get active with this shit. Um, 
and that that's your only way to 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 really tell but but you need to uh take that step guys don't be afraid to take that step uh without risk there's there's no reward um and now is the perfect time right now in 2022 the way that the market is get your money working for you get your money working for you um let's let, let's be independent it's a lot of crazy things going on in the world um so now is not now is the best time to focus on building a business for you uh building a dynasty um let's let's get it guys let's let, let's get active let's not be afraid to take that first step and uh really make something happen all right guys so when you take the time uh to sit down and actually think about your business goals first you need to uh think about the direction in which you want your business to go and then you need to structure that um or around your goals because you you need to know uh where you want to be in the future so that way you'll know how to structure your plan um when you're first starting out uh, as a as a new lawn care business um i would say some some good goals coming here into 2022 uh, number one is you need to know what's going on in the market um and when i say that you need to know the demographics of your area um you need to know uh the the density of your neighborhoods uh, how many people live there uh married um single where your apartments are located um where your your hras um your basic neighborhoods the all, all the demographics you need to know what's going on in your market you need to know what your gas prices are the the cost of materials because all of this stuff is going to reflect you guys um it's going to reflect on your prices so make sure that that, that that you're smart on this and you're just kind of um, taking note or watch the news. You need to see what's going on in, in your area because um, all of these things is going to going to reflect your business, uh, either good or bad. Uh, so so definitely, guys, just uh, keep that in mind. And also, I would say uh, set a, a target number of um, clients that, that you want to reach by the end of the season. I think that's very important. So that way you you have something to shoot for. Uh, for for this year, my target is 50 clients. I'm trying to I'm trying to shoot for 50 clients, guys. Um, as the as the season progresses, we'll I'm gonna keep you updated on that. That's that's my goal is to is to hit 50 clients, and I know I'm gonna reach it. Uh, my board in the house already started the, the little countdown um, where after I add a new client to the list, all new clients, of course. Um, I'll, I'll mark it down, but 50 is that number. Currently at 49. Stay tuned. Um, and also, guys, in the comment section, uh, let me know what you're doing for your business. Uh, let me know what goals that, that that you have set or any goals that that you're thinking about for uh, this coming season. And kind of also let me know what's going on in your market um, and also where you guys are located. And just take the time and like and subscribe. And um, also, guys, um, equipment. Uh, you see, as you see in my previous previous videos, equipment is something major to me because, uh, like I like I say, your equipment is gonna be the lifeline of your business. So you want to make sure you have some uh, legit equipment. Um, some goals that you might set later down in the season is to upgrade on equipment. You know, if you have uh, one push more, maybe by the end of the season, your goal is to own two push mores or maybe a standard or uh, zero turn or, or or something in that in that plan field. But um. Just write you something down, guys. Get you something on paper uh, so you have you something to shoot for. Um, and also, I would say when you're first starting out, something ideal would be uh, market, marketing. Uh, you want to set you some goals up on uh, how you plan to market your service, market what you're doing. Um, because if you don't let people know what you're doing, nobody will know. So, you know, uh, via some type of business card, um, set you a website up or or something uh today i currently have a, it's um 11 36 right now um i'm waiting on a call from this guy on possibly getting my truck wrapped uh getting some well maybe not wrapped but getting uh some type of of design on my truck to to really get my my business out there um you have to let people know w what you're doing guys um let's see what else we have on the on the list and also uh some some good goals setting out decide on the which neighborhoods that that, that you guys want to target um decide on those neighborhoods and 
uh, how you plan to market to those neighborhoods, to those certain areas. All right, guys. So for the 2022 season, I'll kind of just give you a rundown of uh, a few of the goals that I've set for myself. Um, first on the list, like I uh, mentioned before, is definitely that 50 marketing clients. I'm trying to get 50 clients this year, and I know I'm going to. I'm going to hit it. And uh, next is to cut off the people that does not want to pay guys in, in this market well in my market a lot of people will give you the runaround man on why they can't pay and to be honest with you i'm not trying to hear that shit. i'm done with that um i, I graduated I, I i feel like so at this point in my business i'm not dealing with that shit, guys i'm, I'm not uh, people that want to pay late they're getting cut off I'm, I'm not dealing with it and definitely upgrade on my equipment guys um I plan to definitely get me a stand on more. I want to get get a stand on more uh, brand new. Yeah, I want to leave. I want to leave all of that uh, used equipment alone because that's not the way that you want to go. So my plan is to get something new off the showroom floor, baby. Um, and also, guys, I want to simplify my business. And uh, when I say that, I want to uh, implement more uh, business models in into my business to um actually get it down to a t and when i say that like yard density i'm really really focusing on that this year i'm not going to be driving all around the city all of my yards will be in one set location so i can really uh maximize on time and uh maximize on my money too um so that's a big one that i'm really excited about this year is is uh yard density and uh definitely brand awareness um People, people will know about Turfs Up. They'll, they'll know about my company uh, to definitely get my company uh, out there more. So, just guys, I want you to just stay tuned um, as as we knock down the list. And I want, I would like to uh, track the process of your guys' list too, um, of, of your goals. Let's 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 knock them down, man. Um, now is, is is a good time to to really make money. Spring is coming, so. It's, it's time to really get active, guys, and, and um, get get the ball rolling. Uh, please like and subscribe. It will definitely help the channel grow. And uh, stay stay tuned for more content. For more content. So we out here. What they building the highway. Highway all right here. We out here, baby.